Alright guys, so let's get on working with this. Now, before we actually start, uh, you can see I have finished off my spare tire casing and also duplicated my tires around. Now, this was something I actually made in a video that I was supposed to post for you guys, but the, uh, the, audio, file, the audio file got corrupted and it was about 40 minutes long worth of video and I have kind of felt lazy recording the whole thing over again. So it's not that I didn't make a video for this, I actually made the video, but the audio file got corrupted, so I couldn't actually make the video, and uh, yeah, I left it that way. So I just want to explain to you guys how I did everything, all I did was, you remember we only have one tire here, so I created the S stem over here, which we didn't have before, and then I, you know, added it to this, and then took everything in the middle here, so I got to the side view, and then right click like this, so I just right click all the way here, selected everything, press shift and D and then duplicate it all the way to this side. So that would mean we have two ties now, okay? That is when we duplicate it, we have two ties. Ignore the ones over here. So I took all of this. In your case, you only have one tire, so I took all of it, duplicated it to that side, and now we have two tires. And what I did was I actually took the second one as well, holding down shift and then selecting it the same way. And then what I did was I'm just deselect this. What I did was now we have these two selected. I press shift and S and choose Kezza to world origin. And then I press shift and D. I press shift and D. Okay, so follow this very carefully. So I press shift and D. Oh, first of all, I change the pivoting point to 3D Kezza. So it's over here. And I press shift and D. And then after, as soon as I, I mean, after pressing shift and D, I instantly pressed S. That is S, not X, S. S is what I'm trying to, I mean, the S that follows the A. And then after after pressing the S, I pressed X, the one that follows the Z, and then after that I typed in negative one, and that should duplicate it perfectly to the other side like this, and then that should you know do it for you guys. All right. So after that I went to the back here and I took this one. Well, I actually went to the back view and took a look at the blueprint, sent to the uh, 3D case in the blueprint. I mean in the center of the blueprint here, and added in a mesh circle which had about um, 35 vertices and then rotated it so that these three vertices are actually in line with the blueprint line we have going on here okay so you can see these three are in line with that I just rotated the circle in order to fall on it and then I extruded it piece by piece to actually create all of this area so you can see this is a separate object and it ends in the middle there there's also a separate object ends right in the middle there and then after that after I did the extrusion and supporting, adding in the supporting edge loops, I actually created this one as well. And then after that, you can see that one actually dips in a little bit, just like in the reference image. And then after that, all I did was I took the sign here, this sign over here, like this. I duplicated it, deleted the plate behind it, and then I put it over here. So you can see the plate is not behind it, just a symbol, and then I put it on top of it, and then that about did it. So all that was about 44 minutes, but as I said, my audio file got corrupted, so I couldn't make the video for you guys. Alright, so hopefully you guys are able to do it on your own, because I have to tell you, I'm not going to make the video again. It was too long to make, and yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. Alright, the next thing is going to be pretty much the, uh, I don't know, I don't know, the wheel wells. I'm thinking we should make the wheel wells in this case, I'm not so sure. Alright, let's look through the images and see if we can find some good or better images of the wheel wells so we can make them. Let's take a look at this one. Alright, so this one has a good image of the wheel well, but I'm going to keep it pretty basic because you can see here it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to keep, keep mine pretty basic just for the uh, tutorial sake. And uh, the suspension and all the stuff, I'm going to be making them on my own and I'll make it available for you guys to actually import into your 3D model. So well, I'm not going to be doing any tutorials on making the suspension and the chassis. I'll just make that on my own and send you the blend file so you can just import it into your 3D model. Alright, so let's get on making the, what do you call it, the um, wheel well. Now before we actually start, if you take a look here, you can see the thickness of the, what do you call it, the, the the fender flare is actually ending somewhere around here so let's try to do that in this one and let's try to keep it pretty short so I want to go in here and I'm going to take this one over here select all the way to the other side so I think I want to take it from this I want to take all of this and hide it and I want to take all of this press alternate to bring everything back and now we're going to move this G in the X axis like this all the way back to about this point and that should do it like that I don't know if we should move it some more, but I think it's pretty good. Alright, 
There we go. Oh, hold on. We have a little bit of a problem here. All right, let me go back. Let me just press Control Z and go back. You can see we have it intersecting over here. So let me just move it in the X. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, all right, let me press G and then X and then move this all the way here. Like this. Now let's see how we can fix this area. Let me see. We have it intersecting here, which means we have to fix it. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into wireframe. I'm going to deselect all of these, okay? And let me see. Okay. All right, now I'm going to select this. Let me see, this vertex here. Make it the active element. And I want to change the pivoting point to active element. And let's just rotate this. Or let's just share it. I'm not sure. All right, let's rotate it in the Y axis like this. I'm just going to rotate it until it gives us the amount that we need. And I think that is about the amount, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, should be good. Should be good. Uh, let me let me move this in the x-axis, alright? To about this point, like this. And I want to rotate this in the y-axis again. Just a little bit inward, like that. Alright, so that should be pretty good. Hopefully you also had that right, and we should get on with everything else. So let me just get onto the side here. Now we're gonna create the actual wheel well for this. So, like I said, I want to keep this pretty basic, not too complicated. Let me go into edit mode, and let me take this vertex and zoom in right here. So I'm gonna take the okay. Let me just hold down Alt and select all of that, and it selects it very nicely for us all the way to the other side. Okay. Now I want to press Shift and D to duplicate this like this. I want to press P to separate the selection. Now I want to take that one, go into edit mode, I'm going to wireframe, and yeah, everything is looking pretty good so far. Let me just get rid of all of these vertices. These two here, I'm going to dissolve those two vertices so we have nothing on the end there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Take all of these, dissolve the vertices so we have nothing there. Let me just press G twice and bring this here. Take this, press G twice and move it there. All right. So this continues all the way down, as you can see. So we're gonna have to, you know, continue it all the way down. So I'm gonna take this one. Let me just get out of edit mode of that. I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to take all of the vertices we have over here as well. All right. So all the way to about that point. That is, I only need it to this point. Okay. So this one, all the way to the top. That is here. And press Shift and D, and press P to separate the selection. Now I want to take that one, and then this one. No, not that one. And then this one. Come on. And then this one. I want to press Ctrl and J to join them. Now I want to take this one. That is one, two, and then three. Press Alt and M and choose at last, like that. All right, that should be good. And now I want to take. Let me see. Let me get in here. I think we have too much vertices going on. So I want to take these two, these two here, and dissolve the vertices. I'm gonna take this one, dissolve the vertices. Let me take a look. I'm gonna take this, delete the vertex. The vertex. I'm gonna take this one, dissolve the vertex. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Let me get over here. Let me see. Let me take these three and dissolve the vertices. And take this, dissolve the vertices. And yeah, that should be pretty good, I guess. You know, let me take all of this and delete the vertices. So we have only this one going on. All right, so that is everything. Now what we're gonna do is to press E and then X and extrude this back here. So I'm gonna press S and then X and type in zero. All right, like this. And I'm gonna move it beyond the tire, like that. All right, very nice. Let me just get onto the side view. And let me see, maybe we can actually scale this in a little bit. Like this, and then move it down in the Z axis. So it's straight with those ones over there. I'm not so sure. Now let's undo all this. Um, let me see. Alright, so it needs to be really behind the tire. So I'm going to pull this in a little bit more. Let me see some more. And yeah, so not bad. Not bad. Now let me select everything. Press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And okay, so that's a good start. Um, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take all of these ones and I'm going to press F to fill in the face. And I want to press I to insert the face 
to about here bring this menu up and disable boundary like that so let's do this again press i to insert it to about this point like this and i want to take everything uh let me press w select loop tools and choose space so no hold up let me see this edge is not included so let's deselect that one press w loop tools and choose space why is it doing that not so sure all right let's go back to vertex selection let me move this up here take this move it up to about that point and let's try this again well, let me move over here take this press g twice and move it beyond that vertex all right let's take everything again of course in vet i mean in edge select mode let's press w loop tools and choose space it's still happening why is it doing that all right here's what i want to do i'm going to press x and delete the faces now let's just take those vertices and try again so w loop tools and choose space wow let's apply the location rotation and skill and let's try this again w loop tools space still happening why is it doing that okay let me try from here to here w loop tools space okay that worked let me see for this one as well w loop tools space all right not bad i'm gonna dissolve this one i don't think i need it dissolve this one as well dissolve that one dissolve this one let me take this press g twice and move it to the middle and yeah everything should be looking quite good so far okay let me take all of this i think we have a bit of a problem here right there's a face over here let's see if we can get rid of that face faces there we go all right so i bet that was what that was what was messing up with the loop tools option there so let's just take all of those edge and press f to fill in the face and uh i don't know if that is pretty good enough but i think it might be it might be pretty good enough unless we we should add in some more i'm not so sure we do have some mud flaps over here, so we're going to be creating those mud flaps to cover up this area over here, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, let me see. Let me just press I here to insert the faces just a little bit more, like that. Alright, that is good. So I want to press Ctrl and R in here, adding a loop cut all the way to about this point. And that should be good. I want to take all of this, let me just press G twice, move this all the way here. Press G twice and I want to move it down. Because I want that area to be quite rounded and very nice, like that. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let me see, let me take everything. Press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. I'm going to flip that around. Because <coughs> it's wrong right now. And there we go. So let me take that, click on Object and select Shade Smooth. Like that. I think we still need to do something here. Just press Ctrl and R through here. Well, let me take all of that. Press I again to insert it. Just a little bit. And nice. Alright. Okay, so that is looking really good. That is looking really, really good. So eventually when I actually create the suspension for this, I might actually end up pulling this side in to create the seat area for the suspension. Now when I do all that, I'll provide the um, the, the blend file for you guys to actually import in your, uh, your 3D model. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Alright. So you can see what we have going on. It's looking really good. There's one more thing I want to do though. Let me get onto the side view and take a look at this. All right, uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this, but let me take this and no, I think it's on the other side, yeah. And let me just go into edit mode and um, let me take a look. Let me change the image, all right, so I can see this much better. Um, let me see, maybe this one could help us. 
yeah so you can see it's filling that area very nicely as well and how do we actually do that let me take let me see what we can do let me hide this all right i want to hide everything here all right now let me take this one go into edit mode. i want to press ctrl and r2 here and add it to about this point right here all right that should be good now all i want to do now is to take all of this except for that last vertex over there and i'm going to press e no e and then z and then pull this all the way down let me get to the side view so i want to press g and then z pull this all the way down to here and then i'm just going to make sure this oh, let me just press let me change the pivoting point to no the pivoting point to median point press s and then y and then let's scale this out so it's diagonal with both sides like that as you can see all right so with that done all that we're going to do next is to take let me see we're going to take all of these make sure this is the active element let me change the pivoting point back to active element press s and z and type in zero let me get onto the side view and i'm going to press s and y scale this back to this point so you can see what i'm doing here let me get onto the side again i'm just going to rotate this like this until it gets to the bottom like that press s and y and then scale it back s and y again scale it back to 4 right there. I want to take this press G twice and move it forward a little bit like that. Alright, awesome. Okay, so just a few more things we have to do. Uh, let me see. Um, Alright, before we do anything else, let me just let me zoom into this area real quick. Uh, I think we have too much vertices in the middle here, so I want to dissolve this one. I'm going to take this and dissolve it as well. And well, let me dissolve this. Let me see. Let me zoom in over here as well. And we're going to dissolve some of the ones over here as well. So let me take this or this one and dissolve it. I'm going to take this one, dissolve it. Let me see. Uh, we're going to dissolve this one as well. and nice so that should be pretty good i'm not sure about this area though let's press ctrl and r2 here press e and then f let's move it close like that so let's add one in here as well move it close like that i'm gonna add one in here move it up close i want to move down one down here as well like that that should look good on all sides i think yep Now all that I want to do now is to add in a solidify modifier. So let me see. Solidify modifier. And there we go. So that might actually be too sick, I think. Let me take a look. Well not too sick, but yeah. Let me press Ctrl and R2 here, add one close to this area as well. And let's drop the or let me apply the location, I mean the rotation and scale first. And let's drop this to point zero zero five. All right, I think 0 0.005 should be about right. And there we go. So that does it for this wheel well. You can see it's looking really great. Really, really nice. I'm just press alternate to bring everything out. And that is looking awesome. Really awesome. All right, just a few more things until we're done. Like I said, I will be creating the chances for you guys, which will be important into this one without a problem. Now the one we're going to create next is the rare muffler here, uh, sorry not muffler, the rare um, wheel well for this one. So I want to hide this now and let's go in here as well. And again, this might actually be too much so let's pull it in a little bit. Alright, so let me go into edit mode and just like we did with the front, we're going to take this one. I don't really have anything here. We don't have anything here. Let me press Ctrl and R, press E and F, add one close to that area. Let's make sure it added in very nicely. All right. So I want to hide that, and I want to take all of these. Press Alt and H. And let's move this in the x-axis all the way out. Let's make sure it's looking right on the other side as well, not too right. So let's let's get onto this side. Let's take a look. Come on. All right. G and then X. I want to move this in to about there. 
And there we go. Nice. All right. So now to create the wheel well as well, I'm pretty much gonna skip through this. I mean, maybe time lapse it out for you guys because it's pretty much the same thing as the first one. So yeah, let's get on doing this. So I want to take all of these edge over here, the end, which selects. Okay, that's not the one. So that I meant this one. So select all of that one, and we're gonna press Shift and D to duplicate it. Press P to separate the selection, and let's take that again. Come on, go into edit mode. Let's go into wireframe. So we're gonna delete some of the vertices we have going on here. So I want to take these two dissolve it I want to take this dissolve it take this two at the end here dissolve it and let me see I'm gonna take this one dissolve it take this dissolve it and I want to take these two as well dissolve it and yeah that is looking great so we just have to define this some more that is we have to add in some more um, what do you call it supporting edges going on here now hold on before we actually do anything i think this one this edge is actually extruding in too much so let's take that one and let me see how we can fix this all right let's just take this press control and plus until we have it selected up to this point i'm going to take this press x and delete it so i want to take this one pull this out come on pull this come on pull this in the x-axis all the way here like this and I don't know how we're going to deal with this, but the supporting edge which we have going on here, I don't think are necessary. So let me dissolve this one, this edge right here. Let me dissolve this one as well. I think the one over here we need. Let me see, let me dissolve that one as well. Yeah, so there we go. So let me just take all of this, press S and then X and type in 0. And let me just take all of these now. Press G twice, move it to this point like that. Alright, that is looking great. That is looking really good. Alright, now I'm going to take all of these, and what I'm going to do next is to take all of the edges over here as well. Come on. All of these edges, I think this one instead. So these select like this ones. And let me see. Selects all the way down to this point. Yeah, that is good. Pretty sure that is good. Okay. And let me see. Let me just make sure I have the right one selected. And they are the right ones. So I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate it. Press P to separate the selection. Get out of edit mode. I'm going to take this one now. And then take that one. I'm going to press Ctrl and J to join it. Alright. So we're just going to remove the shrink wrap modifier. And we're going to remove the bevel. And we'll just keep that one. So I'm going to drop this to 1. And let me see. Let's move on to this side. Right, so I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Press Alt and M and choose at last. And there we go so let me see nice 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 okay so let's move on to this side as well okay that one will be done once we finish everything else so here's what I'm going to do now I'm going to take this one from here and then hold down control and click on this one right here like this so that then I'm just gonna press E and then X E and then X and then pull this all the way back to about this point like this just to make sure it doesn't fall way too close to the tire so I don't know how to tell let me press alternate to bring everything back all right so let's see this is the tire let's pull this in let me press S and X and type in zero let me get onto the back view just to make sure this doesn't actually you know fall in too much all right so let me just pull this back a little bit more I don't know to about this point let me get to the bottom view and take a look at this. So I'm going to press B, make sure it's about the same measure as the one on the front. And you can see it's pretty much the same. So let's get onto the back again. I'm just going to pull it in just a little bit more, like that. Alright, so that should be looking good. Now all that I'm going to do now is to find a way to fill this area to meet it up. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me take this, hide it, hide everything else over here. Everything else, like that. And I'm just going to move into this area. Let me take this going to edit mode. So let me see. Um, let me move on to the side. All right. I'm gonna take this one, dissolve it, dissolve the vertices, and I'm gonna dissolve. I'm gonna dissolve this one as well. And let me see. 
All right, I want to take this two and dissolve it as well. Let me take this two and dissolve it as well. Dissolve that one. And maybe not that one. All right, let me just press G twice, slide this around just a little bit. And let me press Ctrl and R2 here, add one in the middle. Let me take one and two and press F. All right. So all that I'm going to do now is to add in, let me see. Um, we have uh, one, let me see, one all the way to, we have five loop cuts. So let me press Ctrl and R3 here, let me add one in here first. And then let me add in four in the middle. Oh no, maybe five in the middle, like that. And I want to take one, two, three, four, and press F. Take this two, and press F all the way down to there like that all right so that is looking good i'm going to press ctrl and r3 here add one into this point and let me see let me just press ctrl and r just press ctrl and r through here and let me add in two let me take one two three four and press f and let me just take let me just press ctrl and r through here press e and move it close to this point right here I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4 and press F 1, 2, 3 no, hold on let me see 1, 2, 3, 4 and press F I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here take these two and press F again to fill it down to there alright, let me just move this up a little bit to this point and nice so I don't know I kind of feel like we should have this go all the way down here so let me just press Ctrl and R2 here and let me take let me see let me just add one in the middle here and let me take this two and press F twice so I want to take one two three press Alt and M and choose at last or maybe not this one I'm not sure let's see yeah so Alt and M let me just zoom in real quick uh, Alt and M and choose at last and just press G or G twice and slide this here press G twice and then C and move this down to that point like that alright let me take everything press it and M to recalculate the normals very nicely alright so you can see we have two more going on down here. I want to take those two and delete the vertices. We don't need them. Very nice. So let me just take this two and pull it in the z-axis all the way down till it covers up that area. Move it in the y-axis like that. Now I'm just going to move over here. Let me add in two like that. And I want to take these four. Press F. Take these two. Press F twice. And then that four and press F very nice so I'm just gonna take this from here all the way to here press E and then X pull it all the way in press S and then X and type in 0 I'm gonna take this two and press F once alright nice so that deals with that area very nicely for us okay so now we have to deal with this area as well I'm just gonna get over here let me take these four press G twice and move it all the way here Alright, I want to take these two, get onto the side, and I want to press E and extrude this all the way to here, like that. Very nice. So I want to take this one and move it in the X axis, move it all the way here. And that is what we have going on. So I'm just press Ctrl and R2 here, press E, and then align it with the left side and pull it all the way here. Do the same thing here, just move it all the way to this point. And let's add one over here as well. Move it all the way to this point and everything is coming out pretty nicely alright so let me just take a look at this side I want to dissolve this edge right here alright let me see maybe I can dissolve this one as well we don't need it alright maybe I can even dissolve these ones in the middle here let me see yeah not too bad so let's take all of these and pull it in the x-axis should cover up that area very nicely for us without any problems and nice alright 
So basically, I'm making sure we don't need those extra vertices going on. Because they're useless. Let me see if I can get rid of the ones in the middle here. Alright, those ones also got away, so it should be good. Let's see, maybe I can even dissolve this one. Very nice. And let me see, maybe even this one. Alright. How about this one? Not bad. And... Yeah, so I'm going to take all of these ones right here, all of them, like this, and let me just move it in the y-axis, alright, like that, okay, let me take this, move it in the y, like that, and that should be good, okay, alright, now let's take everything, and we're going to do it just like we did the front side, alright, so I'm going to press F to fill this in, I'm gonna press I to insert this. I'm gonna insert it pretty much to the middle, like that. Let me press X and delete the faces. Now let's try the loot tools on this again and see if it works. All right, so that worked very nicely. It worked this time. Okay, very nice. So I'm just gonna press F to fill this in. I'm gonna insert multiple faces to make sure this doesn't actually, you know, go all the way through. Now let me take. Oh, we have a problem. Okay, we have some big problem here. Alright, right here. Let me take this press G twice. Move it all the way here. Let's take everything again. W, the twos, and choose space. And there we go. So F. Let's insert this again. To about this point. And insert this again one more time. To about there. And that should be good. So I'm just going to press Ctrl and R to here. Press E and then F. Align it with the left side. And leave it right there very nicely let me see just making sure this side doesn't have any problem which it does so press G twice and move it out just a little bit like that now I want to take this one I want to make it pretty rounded as you can see in the reference image right there so I want to press G twice move this very down like that and then G twice again and move this out to about this point like that and let me just press Ctrl and B and bevel this to about something like that and there we go so I want to click on object and select shade smooth. I'm going to take everything, press shift and end to recalculate the normals. And let's just enable inside. Like that. Alright, there we go. Nice. So you can see that looks exactly like what we have in the reference image. And don't worry about any imperfection on the wheel wells because it actually looks imperfect. So, yeah, we can actually get away with that. Alright, with that done, the final thing is to add in the, the solidify. Again, let me just press Ctrl and A and apply rotation and scale. And then location. Let me get in here. Let's take these two, one and two. And let's press J just to make sure that solidify doesn't flow through. Like that. Alright, so that is looking great. As you can see. Let me just take those two and press G twice and slide it up. Let's add in our own by pressing Ctrl and R. I think that will go all the way to the top. Well, press E, or let's just leave it in the middle, whichever would work. Alright, very nice. Okay, so now we just have to drop down the solidify to 0 0.005, and there we go. So everything is looking great. Let me just press alternation to bring everything back, and you can see the wheel world is looking great and done. We are about almost finished with the whole 3D model. But as I said, I'll provide you guys with the chassis and the suspension so you guys can just import it. I'm not going to be making videos on that or you can just make it on your own if you can. All right. So I think that'll pretty much do it for this video. And yeah, you can see this is looking really great already. Even without the suspension and everything is still looking really nice and awesome. I will pretty much see you guys in the next video.